Asus has just taken the wraps off its new flagship phones at a global launch event in Taipei, revealing a bunch of new models with solid specs and some neat photographic tricks. Hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything we do, and get ready for a first look at the Asus Zenfone 4. So the Zenfone 4 line actually comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different flavours, but we're going to mostly focus on the Zenfone 4 and Zenfone 4 Pro in this first look video. Both of these phones feature attractive metal and glass designs. On the surface, a fairly standard look for mid to high-end phones in 2017, but Asus spices things up a bit with its trademark concentric circle design around the back, which adds a bit of flair. The 2.5D glass blends into the aluminium frame, and both phones feel solid and well-built. The overall look and feel of both phones is very similar though. The only real differences are the ever so slight extra heft of the Zenfone 4 Pro, and the fact that that phone's camera has a very slight lens bump. The Zenfone 4 Pro also has a slightly glossy finish to its metal trim for whatever that's worth. On the inside, the Zenfone 4 has a Snapdragon 660 chip from Qualcomm, the new mid-range champion with between 4 and 6GB of RAM, and up to 64GB of storage, backed up by a 3300mAh battery. On the Zenfone 4 Pro, you'll step up to a top-tier Snapdragon 835 with up to 128GB of storage and a hefty 3600mAh battery. Those are flagship specs by any standard. Both phones feature good-looking 5.5-inch 1080p displays, but the 4 Pro switches up to an AMOLED panel for more vibrant colours. Specs are all well and good, but the big deal about the Zenfone 4 range is its cameras. You'll get two different dual lens configurations depending on which model you pick. The regular Zenfone 4 has Sony's top-end IMX362 sensor with 1.4 micron pixels and optical image stabilization behind an f1.8 lens. And that kind of hardware bodes well for low-light photos. The second new camera lets you take 180 degree wide-angle shots, though with less impressive performance in the dark. On the Zenfone 4 Pro, you get the same main camera behind an even brighter f1.7 lens, but this time the secondary camera does 2 times optical zoom. Again, the secondary camera isn't as good as the main camera in low light, a common thing for dual lens phones. And while telephoto shots are fun, the bottom line here is that Asus has a potentially great main camera in both Zenfone 4 variants. These are cameras that might well go toe to toe with the very best out there thanks to great optics and solid processing. Asus's new phones run Android 7.1.1, near enough the latest version of the EOS right this second, but remember Android 8.0 is just around the corner. The company has gone a little over the top with software customization in the past, but the new Zen UI 4 actually pairs back most of this stuff, and while it's still a far cry from stock Android, there's nothing egregiously wrong with the way it looks or performs. What's more, Asus's software is fast and responsive, which you'd absolutely expect from phones running Qualcomm's latest processors. Part of that software experience is a suite of impressive camera tricks, including manual mode, a portrait mode, and features in the gallery app for tagging and grouping friends and family. So those are the two new flagships if you like, but Asus is also announcing the Zenfone 4 Max, which wasn't on show here, basically a mid-ranger with a huge 5000mAh battery, and the Zenfone 4 Selfie series, which as the name suggests, is all about taking the best possible selfies. The main model for selfie enthusiasts to get excited about is the Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro, this puts its best camera sensor, the IMX362 again, with a f1.8 lens around the front along with LED flash on the front and a secondary wide-angle camera for fitting in a more panoramic view. The Selfie Pro actually takes 24 megapixel shots from the 12 megapixel sensor thanks to some magic involving the use of two photodiodes per pixel. Around the back there's a fairly standard 16 megapixel camera and on the inside a Snapdragon 625 processor plus 4 gigs of RAM provides solid performance and enables 4K selfie video. Though once again, you'll view these on a 5.5 inch 1080p screen. Meanwhile, the regular Zenfone 4 Selfie pairs back some of the specs, and the physical hardware also feels a bit less premium, though you're still dealing with a metal unibody here. The regular Zenfone 4 Selfie also features dual front-facing cameras, this time in 20 megapixels, but with a lesser processor and a lower res display. So that's our very first look at some promising new phones from Asus. You'll find more, including late-breaking release date and price information at androidcentral.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.